Okay, um, first of all, hello to everybody out there. Thought I'd put together a quick video just to show where I'm at with my um, self-contained software-defined receiver project. So um, this box here is actually a die-cast box, um, similar to what commonly known as Eddie Stone uh, box, mm -hmm. die-cast alloy. Um, and it was made years ago. Uh, it's actually stamped inside with uh, the brand STC, which is stands for Stel uh, Standard Telephones and Cables, which is an Australian company from many, many years ago, long gone, of course. And uh, one day at a at a market, I found a whole bunch of them. This is going back about 10, 15 years ago. And so I've slowly been using them in various projects. A very nice uh, diecast box with a lid. I've actually used the back of the box um, to, for the receiver so that when I want I can remove the lid from the back and I can get to everything inside. So um, that's the purpose of that. <clears throat> this box will be painted of course when I finish making all the holes in it. I haven't finished yet because I'm still uh, waiting for some more bits to arrive. Once all the holes are done I will actually sand all this down and prep it properly and paint it. Possibly a grey colour which should go reasonably well with the, the black handles and um, that grey speaker grill. So that's the actual case. Um, I've got um, some bits here on the top. Well, actually, we'll look inside. We'll look inside. So anyway, on the outside, we've got the seven-inch LCD touchscreen uh, on/off switch here. I've added one analog control here which will be an actual analog volume control even though the obviously you've got your software one on the screen and via the mouse and all that I still want to have a, a nice little analog volume control before the amplifier so I can quickly adjust the volume without having to go into menus and things so in here there will be the rotary encoder I've actually made up this knob on the lathe and um, this is probably what I'm going to use in the end so I haven't got the encoder yet, I don't know exactly what encoder I'm going to use, but I'll figure that out as time goes by. So that will sit there. Here we will have one push button, so when you're using the uh, rotary knob, if you need to go to the next setting, you, you can just press the button there. The whole thing can be operated via the screen, of course, when it's running, and can also be operated via a mouse that's plugged into the side of it, which is probably how it's going to be used most of the time. So anyway, we'll move that out of the way, we'll flip it over. So this is what I've done inside the box. I've had to make up a couple of brackets, screw them in so that to hold the screen in position. Um, there's the uh, Pi 4. I made a uh, bracket so that I can hold that in the right position as well. These will be connected to there. Not connected at the moment. Um, various connectors. I'll be, at the moment, I've been experimenting with the um, SDR Play version 2, I think it is. RSP2, yeah, that's what I've been experimenting with. I do have an RSP uh, DX, which is the latest one, which is much better, I feel. And that's what I will ultimately want to put in here. But unfortunately, at the moment, the, the actual Pi image doesn't cover or doesn't have the drivers for that particular um, SDR receiver yet. So, But anyway, by the time I finish all this, hopefully the drivers will be out. They're probably already out now. <clears throat> the last time I looked, they weren't. So I've got a speaker in here, which is a uh, 1 to 2 watt uh, 8 ohm speaker. I went to the trouble of mounting it all there. It's got a uh, plastic cone, so it's fairly rigid. Um, on off switch there, of course, the uh, which will the what will be the analog volume control. Okay, we've discussed that. The Pi's there, the um, display drivers there, board. Now, I've obviously went to a fair bit of trouble to get all the uh, Pi connections to the outside world. So all the uh, USBs and all that come out here, and. One of these is for, uh, that one is for the uh, external reference, which there is an external reference input on the uh, RSPDX. So that, that will go to the um, external reference, 10 megahertz reference. 
Um, in here there will be various sockets, inputs, outputs, etc. Blah blah blah. Uh, basically, all the functionality that's on this RS uh, on this uh, Pi Four, I want to bring out to the side. So I've got full access to everything on that. The only thing I won't have easy access to will be the actual uh, micro SD card, which unfortunately sits on this side here. But anyway, occasionally I might have to open up the box to get to that. So three antenna sockets here. The uh, RSP uh, DX has uh, three antenna sockets, so they're all up there. One of them, the VH, the sorry, the HF one. I'm going to use the um, BNC for rigidity. So that's it. I've installed a couple of handles, which are actually handles that you would normally use on a kitchen door cabinet. Um, I had a look at various ones. I couldn't get any that would actually fill up this box correctly. There was a similar one to this, which was longer, but it actually went right up to the edge. And um, it was, you know, that's where your screw holes are. It's going to be a little bit hard to, to mount. So I had to settle for these slightly smaller ones and sort of uh, put them on in a way where they... Um, sort of look, don't look too bad. The LCD screen has still got the little plastic thing which I'll remove when it's all finished. So that's basically it in a nutshell. Um, once the RSP is in there, I might even, I may have to remove the RSP, uh, the, the RSP DX from its box to save a little bit of space. Um, I'm hoping I don't have to, uh, but we'll see how we go. But it's probably going to be mounted either somewhere in here or somewhere in there. Actually, probably in here. haven't really thought about it yet. And along the bottom here, there will be a uh, lithium battery. So I've got some sort of cells lined up, which are, I think they're 12 amp, 12,000 milliamp, fairly big cells. So to, to get 7.2 volts, I think it is, or 7.5 or something. And um, I will have a um, 5 volt regulator. Not the switch mode type that's common today, but a normal 5 amp regu linear regulator mounted in here somewhere to bring down the 7.2 volts down to uh, 5 volts for the Pi, the screen, and um, basically everything. Everything's going to run on 5 volts in there. Um, obviously there has to be a little circuit to charge the uh, lithium battery when necessary. And um, that's basically it at the moment. Um, I still have to um, make some more holes, I'm not sure about here or maybe along here. Uh, there's a couple of these um, Two of these little US or HDMI ports, I want to bring them out to the side here. Um, this particular screen connects via this uh, cable, the ribbon cable here. So these two HDMI ports, or at least one of them, will be brought out to the side here. Still waiting on that little cable to come. And um, I want to bring out this, um, I forgot what they're called, but this new style uh, port they use on the um, Pi 4. So I want to extend that to a socket on the side as well. So pretty much I want to be able to get to everything from the outside. Um, the purpose of that is ultimately I want to have not just the radio software on there, but possibly other software as well. So um, I'd like to be able to get to the outside in case I want to plug something in or unplug something, make it a little bit more useful. I'm going to go to the trouble of doing all this. Well, at least... Uh, try and extract as much utility out of it as possible. So that's the, uh, that's the box there in a nutshell. And that's what's inside it. So as I uh, do a little bit more work on it, I'll make another video. Uh, I'll make another video when all the holes are finally all drilled out. And um, then I'll paint it and I'll make a video of the actual complete unit, possibly. And uh, we'll see how we go. So that's it for now. We'll see you again next time.